for me that's also a bit minty. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have a bit of a wild card on the cask because it's a, it's an American whiskey but it's a smoky one. So uh, never had a smoky whiskey from America before. I think someone in the forum on whiskey.com suggested uh, this when I asked, do you know any um, smoky American whiskies? And there were a few whiskies coming up. And this was the first one we were able to import. And yeah, I'm gonna try it. So maybe in the next half a year, quarter year, I will get uh, another or maybe two uh, smoky American ones. So um, I had a look around on the internet. It is available internationally, um, but um, there is no description of how it tastes. I found no video. I found a video from Aunt Georgina, a very old lady, just a joke video. She trying to uh, drinking one and saying, "Oh, you want to make me high or something?" <laughs> just find the video. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a wild cut. Nobody says how it tastes. I found one uh, tasting on it says uh, California campfire. How does a California campfire taste like? <laughs> yeah, well, today we're gonna find out. And um, some background facts about the whiskey. It's uh, only available in liter bottles. So hmm, I have to open a liter bottle just to trace it. 45% um, alcohol. And it's a California whiskey. And... Um, the back there is a photo of an old person. Um, the the master distiller, the one who was distilling this stuff, um, learned this from 25 years of um, moonshining, from uh, learning from a moonshiner. So it's a, a bit of a, a moonshine thing going on there, but nonetheless, it is stored in whiskey casks, uh, in oak casks. And it is actually stored in used oak casks, but they have been rejuvenated, means um, they have been uh, burned out again. So you um, activate a bit more of the, uh, the wood sugars again. And also they're proud to say that this is a California oak. So it's a, a Californian whiskey matured in Californian oak also. 100% corn and what's important for the uh, California guys, it's 100% gluten free. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever. Um, I don't think that the gluten content in, in whiskey does you affect you at all in bread. Yeah, maybe, but not in whiskey. Okay, so we know 100% corn, smoky, and that's it. Let's have a try. Always has a bonfire. I think that's a trademark. Looks like a, a normal cork. And here we go. It doesn't say bourbon, um, but I know it's not colored. So no coloring in there. Always a It's not, it's not as smoky and uh, dominant smoky as you might uh, get from from some some of the smoky um, Isla whiskies, and it's a bit of a a medicinal alcoholic smoky note. For me, that's also a bit minty. But somehow unusually minty, like a, like a mint gum. I would have expected more, more vanilla, more caramel. Very, 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 
very, very far in the back. Mmm. 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 Sweet. And definitely a bonfire note. It's not as hefty and strong as a, as a peat smoke and for some reason you smell the medicinal but it doesn't taste that medicinal. Oh, what? I would really like to know how they do the, the smoke in there and what kind of fuel they use to create the smoke. Didn't say it on the webpage. Didn't get anything from the inter importer as well. But they have a, a subtle smoke in there. I would compare the intensity, definitely not the taste, uh, with let's say a, a Highland Park or uh, some of the, the less intense smoky whiskies from Scotland. So there's a, a subtle note of smoke in there that um, that sparks your imagination for more taste, like I would say a bit of a chocolatey note. The, the smell is really quite different from from uh, from what the taste is like. Hmm. It develops. Also, you have a, light, a bit of a, a fruit cake note. Fruity cake, or well, fruit cake, just for the loonies. Um, and mm, it's it's really a good balance. I I like my smoky whiskies with a good balance of of sweetness. So I like like let's say the, the Arctic Supernova is one of my favorites. Um, this one, this one is good as well. It's a it's a different kind of smokiness, and it's not as hefty as as all the the Scottish smoky ones. Mm. Mm. It's also it's also pretty smooth for for someone who claims to to get their heritage from moonshiners because I had a few moonshines before and they were all a punch in the face of alcohol. But that's what the moonshine is like. Mm. Oh, it's great. Now you have a, a chocolatey bitterness, so bittersweet chocolate. Mm. It's it's really much for a good variety for such a a newcomer and for an American hundred percent corn whiskey. Mm. So if you find out how the they um, they do the smoke in into the and get the smoke into the the corn or actually the spirit. I don't know if they found a way to put smoke into a spirit. Um, please uh, contact us on whiskey.com or just write it uh, down in the section uh, in the comment section below. So thank you very much for watching and if you found this video interesting, then please feel free to share this video with your friends. And thank you and goodbye.